Greetings, salutations, and all good things in between. What's up, everyone? Matt here. Welcome back. In this part two of the series, we're going to focus on the script part of things. So we're going to start by using ChatGPT to generate the actual script that we need to run. Then I'm going to go over the steps necessary to create an app sheet bot that will manage all of the back and forth using that script. By the end of this, you're going to have a functioning conversation system, albeit a little rough. All right, let's dive in, picking up where we left off in part one. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to create the actual script. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to use ChatGPT because this is how I did it originally. It's amazing what you can do over there. Now I spent some time working on a prompt that's inside the, the description that you can just take that, copy it, drop it in, inside ChatGPT, and if everything goes according to plan, it should produce the exact script that you need in order to run. So if we go to ChatGPT, hey, it's up and running, happy days, and just paste that in there and see what it says. All right, here we go. Here is the blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so inside the prompt, I've taken the uh, all of the specifics. So like you want to use the Tech DaVinci 3, there's 500 tokens you want to return. Let's see what this thing does. This is what's amazing, right? It's like, boo, 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 like you, Take that paragraph that I gave you, go to ChatGPT right now. It'll be doing this exact same thing. <laughs> Amazing. I'm legit, I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting all of this right. Token usage to string. It even did the string right. Oh man, do you like it when things work? Yes, sir. All right, so here's my code that I need. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back to my app. All right, now, in order to get this script to work, you can't deploy the script as a script that's running as part of the Google Sheet. Can't do that. You need to create the script file by itself. All right, so the easiest way that I suggest to do this is to put this script file in the same folder that your Google Sheet is for your app. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to App Sheet, and go to Tables, and open one of these, and I'm gonna say, View the Source. So this opens up wherever source this is from. From here, I'm gonna go up here to this little more thing right here, or this move thing, right? Click that, and then this little thing right here. This is a little nice little trick. That went away. This little thing will open the folder that this Google Sheet lives in. So here you go, this is where it lives. And so right here, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to more, and I'm gonna say, make a new app script. Happy days, okay? Come back over here. I'm gonna copy my function that this gave me. Come in here, I'm gonna save this. So now that I've got a dedicated file that is the script that I wanna use inside my Google Drive folder that's associated with my app, okay, now go back to App Sheet, go to Automation, and this is where we get into the fun stuff. All right, make a new bot, and this is gonna be get response. The event is new record. So the event is a data change. When I add, you can, you can do ads updates if you want. I'm just gonna do ads, not on the threads, but on the messages. And then the thing that we need to do is we need to get response, okay? The first task is a task type. And the thing we wanna do is call a script. We wanna call it on the messages table. And the script we want to run is, and this is where you just do the search for open AI chat. There it is. That's the script that I just made. Do all of this. There we go. Okay. Oh, you got to authorize the script so that it can run on your account. Yeah, 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 yeah. Google hasn't verified it. It's going to blow up my account. Yep. Okay. <laughs> now that that's through, we only have the one function and the prompt needs to be thread link dot thread history because the thread history is going to have q1 blah 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 a1 blah 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 q2 blah blah blah, 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 blah. but then you also want to add in two line breaks 
one, two, three, three hashtags, and two line breaks. You need a way to differentiate between here's all the stuff I'm giving you and okay, I'm done, it's your turn. This sort of thing here where you do line break, line break, three hashtags or four or five, whatever you want, like just more than one or two. Um, and then a couple of more line breaks. That's actually used in a lot of the training data that they use on OpenAI. So the model is trained to respond to, that's the end of the thing, start typing in the answer. So that's usually something that I try and add on to all of my prompt things that I'm sending, because this really does kind of help clean things up at the end. Okay, all of that is what we're sending. We come down here, there's still a few more things to do down here. So we gotta turn on returns a value. It returns this, if we come in here, right? So it returns an array that is the completion text, which is what I'm gonna throw inside the response, and then the total usage. I don't have a space to record that, I need to make a space to record this. So I'm gonna to go to my, my uh, sheet, and I'm gonna to go to my messages, and I'm going to add a new column that is messages token total tokens. Total tokens. Okay, wait for it to save. Go back to my app. Go back to messages. Regenerate the structure to grab this new column. Okay, so a token. What is a token? A token is roughly three quarters of a word. It's what the AI system uses to conceptualize a word. Um, and depending on the model that you're using over at OpenAI, each one has a certain number of tokens that are allowed. The one that I'm using for this script is the Text Da Vinci, and that one has a token limit of 4,000 tokens. Um, so you need to keep track of this, right? So as you have this ongoing conversation, slowly, you know, you keep adding stuff, right? Eventually you're gonna reach a point where you can't add anymore. You're gonna run into that limit. So that's why I have that script designed in such a way that it returns not only the response, but also what is the total number of tokens that have been used so far? That way, when you start getting close, like when you're in the 3000 range, you start, you could start knowing we're reaching the end of this, this thread. We're gonna have to do something else. There's manage there are strategies to manage that, and perhaps in the future I'll go over those. But for now, let's configure things. So we got this total tokens. That is a number. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back to our automation and we tell it the return value. It's an array. So it's going to return a list. And if we come here to this little pencil thing here, we can tell the system what type of list this is. So this is a list of long texts. And if you look down here, there's a little code that you can copy. Like if you want to use the output, there's a little thing down here that you can get. So come down here and copy that. And then create a new step. This next one is record response. The thing that we're doing here is we are running a data change. And the thing we're changing is we're setting the values of some rows. And it's the response. And instead of just dropping this in like this, like we can't do that. What we need to do is we need to extract the first thing out of that. So I'm gonna wrap this in an index. And I'm gonna say, give me the first thing out of this output response, right? I'm gonna copy this because this exact formula is what I need to do in order to get the usage out of this. So I'm gonna save that there. I'm gonna add a new column into this mix where I'm gonna record the total tokens and that's the same formula, but instead of the first thing, it's the second thing. All right, but notice the usage has been converted to a string. Why, why did I tell the thing to do that? Okay, turns out AppSheet cannot, cannot accept an array that has different types. So if I was to leave that usage, which is an integer, it's a number, if I was to leave that as a number, then this array would have mixed types. It would have a long text and a number. And AppSheet does not accept an array that has mixed types. So in order to get around this sort of limitation, I convert the number of tokens to a string. 
That way it's a long text, just like the completion. So both of these things are now a text. But that means that when I pull that out of the array, the actual piece of text that I'm extracting out is a text value. And if I need to put that inside of a number column, I need to convert the text number to a number number. All I gotta do is wrap this in a conversion thing. This is actually really easy. You just wrap it in number. That's it. This takes whatever you're feeding it and it says, all right, you say it must be a number. We'll make it a number. And there's one last thing is you've got to go get an API key over at uh, OpenAI and drop that inside here. Uh, that way everything will work. Um, so the thing that you can do is you can just go to beta.openai.com. Uh, that will get you here and then you can sign up for an account. And then when you do that, you'll be able to come over here and go to view API keys. And then you can create all of the APIs that you would like. In your script, you'll want to replace your key there, right? All right. Now I've done that in my script. So if we come back here and let's create a new thing, right? Yep. So here's my thread. Let's make a message. Throw that in there. And let's save it and kick it off. Okay. Yep. 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 All right. This, this, this is looking like, this is looking good. We might actually get a response. Okay, ah, all right. When you see it chewing on something really long like this, okay, that usually means it's really working. Hey, look at that. So, all right, yeah, there's, there's some, it, it returned a whole bunch of weirdness. Well, that's a wild response. I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, so the thing that I'm going to do in order to prevent this sort of weirdness from happening is I'm going to do some prompt engineering type stuff. And that's the end of part two. You now have a working conversation system that integrates OpenAI and AppSheet. Now it's rough, right? There's clearly some refinement that needs to be done. We need to do some prompt engineering to make this system return the type of text that we want. Make sure you check out the next video in the series for more information on that.